casual observer probably doesn't look any different, but I've spent at least three hours playing around with this. The wall where it tapered all the way down to one block, it built up to three or four over here, and it was actually above the lawn. And then this in here was all washed out dirt with just a couple of large blocks lying on the path. So, I, uh, well, I took a few shots and I'll include those in here, I guess. But I carved out the dirt underneath those timbers right there. Took some of those higher mounded rocks from over there. And then shored that up underneath there. This is just a bunch of loose stuff that I've been using for fill behind the rocks. And then right here is where the tree stump was. And that was a mound of dirt. So I carved that all out. And when I was done, it actually was undermined at that point. So I put some rocks underneath there. It is held in with some um, re-rod. So that little wall's not going anywhere, I guess. No, I'm sure it's not. But anyway, that's what I've been doing. And as I did that, uh, listen to music. It's better than listening to myself think sometimes. Um, oh yeah, by the time I was done, I had a real barrel full of dirt from what I carved out of there and, and out of there. So I took it up the hill. I actually took it up there over to the spot where the wood pile was and I dumped it. <laughs> I thought I was going to break my back just getting that one wheelbarrow up there. And I want to have a couple of yards delivered and, and take it up to that hillside. So I have to rethink this. Maybe if I come along this slope here maybe it's gentler and I'll probably go with half wheelbarrows but as I worked I listened to music and uh, I listen to uh, a lot of stuff that I probably listen to less than once a year now anymore but music that I used to practically live by um, some moody blues well actually I listen to some Trans-Siberian Orchestra um, it was a double LP Night Castle? Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's almost operatic. And um, then I went into Moody Blues, and then I went into Harry Chapin. And Harry Chapin, I mean, it's, it's funny, you know, even the Moody Blues, probably once a year I listen to that and still know all the lyrics. Um, Harry Chapin, probably less than once a year, but I used to live by that music, by that man. I went to several of his concerts in a smaller venue, a theater in the round rotating stage that was really cool yeah it's a great guy storyteller that's what his music was all about storyteller he was the um, epitome of bleeding heart liberal he was very 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 concerned about world hunger and a portion of every concert he attended or he performed at went towards trying to solve that and this record that I have, or this vinyl, no, this CD, which I now have MP3s of, um, it's, it's called the Gold Medal Collection, and it's, it's like a greatest hits. It's a double CD. And um, every once in a while, in between some of the tracks, I intersperse some of his dialogue, talking about his concerns. And, yeah. He died right around the time John Lennon did. In fact, it might even have been 79. A great loss, but it, it was something listening to all that music and you know, knowing it by heart. And one song, well, the collection starts out with Taxi, but Harry Chapin's more than just Taxi or um, yeah, I, I you know, it's funny because I can't name the songs that he's known for because I know of so many of the other things like The Rock, Sniper. Dance Band on the Titanic. That song is great. But anyway, it uh, starts out with Taxi, of course. And that song is like it's ingrained in me. Because it was my, I believe it was my first year of college. Yeah, it was. Yeah. My uh, girlfriend had just broke up with me. 
And so I can live that song, I thought. You know, just, yeah, I'm going to die in the wool. Romantic. But yeah, I really enjoy listening to that music. Music I haven't heard in a long time. Moody Blues, too. Listen to two or three albums of that. So I've been at this a while. Probably four hours. But anyway, yeah. I'm pleased with the way this came out. Eh, yeah, okay. All that rabble has to come out of there. But uh, the rest of this worked out well because, as I said, that was just nothing but dirt caving in. And I utilized all the stuff that was piled up there. I even had rocks left over, which are just stored right there in the center of the image right here now. But... It's been on a Titanic. Ciao, folks. Vlog on. Damn it.